In the past three months, I've made a silly amount of money by just posting TikToks. To be more specific, $20,704.64. I don't know a lot of things, but I do know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and that I can show you how to make money with TikTok. This will be the only guide you'll ever need and I'm gonna teach you the in and outs like you're my stupid little brother. There are three core concepts you need to fully grasp to become the epitome of a money printer. And I'll go in depth on each of them. If you're really trying to make it out the hood, turn off everything that could distract you and lock in. Before going straight into it, we need to clarify how you can actually make money with TikTok. The most forward way, the way I made my 20 bands, is via the TikTok creativity program or now known as the creator rewards program. It's a very cool program that lets you earn money if you follow a couple of requirements. Firstly, you need to have 10k followers, 100k views in the last 30 days, your account has to be created in one of the following countries, and to actually receive money from your videos, they need to be one minute or longer. Do not worry, I will talk about every single problem you have in your head right now, at least the ones regarding TikTok. So the very first thing you need to master is setting up your account for success. Let's pretend for now you want to be the next Mr. Olympia. You're not just gonna hop on stage and try your luck, right? You're gonna have to prepare. Watch a ton of David Goggins motivational videos first. That is exactly what you will have to do with your TikTok account. The very first thing you're gonna do is obviously create your account, right? That's like signing up to the gym. By the way, if you don't live in one of those eligible countries, you're gonna have to wait and watch the whole video before even creating your account. Naturally, the next step is gonna be deciding what type of workout routine you're gonna go for to achieve peak aesthetics. Your workout routine translates to what type of content you're gonna be posting on your account. Well, how do you decide that? To all the annoying guys asking what type of niche is the best to post right now, I'm talking to you. This is the exact formula on how to find a good niche and post content that is gonna be absolutely popping on TikTok. Open the app on your phone and scroll in there for 20 minutes. You tell yourself as you doom scroll until 3 a.m. And just look for content that is popping right now on TikTok. If you find something where you think you have the ability to kind of replicate it, literally steal the concept and put your own twist to it to spice it up a little. It's that simple. The best way to find a good niche is to just be on the platform and look for opportunities. By doing that, you're gonna go down one of two paths. The first one is the good and honest path. You actually produce original content. You're somewhat useful to society, not like teacher useful, but like dropshipping useful. It's going to the gym six times a day and doing the hard work especially when you don't. Realistically, you can post almost anything you want, bro. You just need the right execution. If you find something even remotely funny or entertaining, there's going to be a billion other guys exactly as weird as you are. You spend way too much time on video games, use that addiction to your advantage. Look at what people are posting in the gaming niche. I'm not even into gaming anymore, but I found skits in VR like this. 4.5 million views, by the way. Trolling in Roblox. I know you too. Excuse me, I'm not on you. She's huh? not on you're not on, but you're pizza love cupcake, right? Cup cupcake. <laughs> playing stupid games and just recording them. Literally playing messenger games with a story you just made up. And that's only a few popping concepts I found that you could be doing right now. If you can somewhat draw, you can animate popular that's videos or four. memes. You don't even need to draw well. If it looks goofy enough, it'll get views. With TikTok, you have the ability to turn literally any hobby or interest into a side hustle. You're probably thinking right now, well, I don't have any hobbies or interests. Fair enough, you can do stuff like this. Cool ass simulations or I don't know, memes that happen in each month. Of the, year. the only thing you really need to do is scroll on TikTok, find your niche, and just optimize it for the algorithm. And I'll talk about that in a second concept. But that's not how I actually made my 6 million Robux. The second path is like straight up injecting testosterone into your body before even stepping your foot into the gym. You're gonna get a huge boost, but you might get caught and just die. It's reposting other people's content. Yes, it's very controversial in today's society, but people gotta get their bread somehow. Don't hate the player, hate the game. The strategy to find your niche in this path is almost the same. Scroll on TikTok, see what people are reposting, and then proceed to repost either the same stuff or very similar stuff with different edits. If you're actually just a little bit like special, here are a few examples. Take these compilations of people thinking the world is all sunshine and rainbow and shit. They're essentially just compilations, but these people get tens of millions of views. The brothers that are posting these type of videos are eating, 
good. 100% you could somehow make a video on the top 10 scariest water slides in the world, like the videos we've watched on YouTube years ago, and make money within like two months, if you know how to optimize and choose the right clips of course. But with reposting content, there is a little tiny life hack you could be doing that could potentially explode your account in a fraction of the time. Instead of going on TikTok, you go on YouTube and look for really good, kind of like underground YouTubers. And then you just steal their content and post it on TikTok. I mean, at least once you found this good ass YouTuber that has so much potential and like two weeks later, they're just viral. Turn your weakness into your strength, bro. Yes, you spend the entire day at home and watch videos on your phone six hours a day, but at least you make a couple of bands while doing that. That shit really worked for a guy I know who made upwards of 20k in a month by just reposting YouTube videos. This guy made more money in a month than 10 factory workers will ever even touch. This strategy can skyrocket your account in a very short amount of time because the people you're stealing from actually have skill and can produce good content. And if anybody tells you that what you're doing is morally wrong, just tell them you're giving them exposure, which you're kind of doing, but at the same time you're just kind of leeching off their talent. Here are a few examples so your stupid ass can actually replicate something similar. Urban exploration has been going viral for a while now. So traveling videos with crazy situations, hopping on moving trains and sleeping in the forest and stuff like that. Exploring caves. Wouldn't do that for a million dollars but goes crazy viral on TikTok. There are quite a few negatives with reposting other people's content though. Otherwise everybody would be doing it, right? Reposting clips has been like free money for the past year. People are just taking streamer or podcast clips and literally posting them on TikTok with barely anything edited or changed and they were swimming in money, bro. Unfortunately, it it's not that easy anymore because the TikTok creativity program beta is now out of its beta. So TikTok is trying to push more quality content, more original content and stuff like that. So if you're still going to try to post content that isn't yours, you will have to edit it in a way that makes it really high quality because there's this annoying thing on TikTok called copyright violation. That will be your main enemy once you actually get into the program if you're reposting stuff. Get five of these and you're out of the club. And I've almost been there a couple of times, bro. I've had four copyright violations at the same time, more than I like to admit. I will talk about that in the last concept where I'll be going into more detailed stuff for the more advanced guys. By far the worst thing that can happen though is that the people who are actually producing the content don't like the fact that you make money with this. So they just talk to TikTok a bit and they will strike your ass. Get like two of these and you're not just out of the program, but your account gets deleted and you might lose all the money. Also happened to my friend who made a ton of money with this. So these are the two paths that you're gonna go down. Choose wisely, but if you wanna go for the long game, create original content. That's what TikTok is gonna push out. Before going into the most important and next concept, these niches do not work anymore. Don't try them. Reddit stories, in general split screen content, streamer clips if you're not always on top of the game, and anything like movies, animes, TV shows, unless you're a recapping them. So this concept is the most important one and the hardest one to actually understand. How to actually grow your account and pull an enormous amount of views. Before even posting, you want to do something that is called warming up your account. Treat it nice for a while, maybe go out for dinner and then you can use it for this money. That means scroll a bit on TikTok Brody, consume their content, see if you can like, comment and follow people. If you can do that after a few days, you should be good. You establish that you need 10k followers and 100k views if you want to get into the cool club. So what we need is chocolate strawberries skinwalker type views this is a mental game bro if you want to be the next mr olympia you're gonna have to get down and dirty here are the ground rules if your page is ultra fresh post once a day if you get at least some views with that you can up it to like two to three times a day and each post should be three hours apart the maximum you should be going is like four times a day but that is like pushing it i did that when i really grinded my page but one to three times a day is more than enough if you actually post quality content let's say you post your first video right you're all proud and shit to spend hours into the edits and then you go to bed you're dreaming of finally achieving something in your life you're gonna be buying all the cool stuff you've always wanted the moment you wake up there will be two scenarios laid in front of you you will either literally see zero views which is not so good because you're gonna have to go back to treating tiktok nice and consuming their content or you're gonna see a couple of views like 20 or something this is very good news you will be broken inside but the only thing you now have to focus on is improving your shit 
and pivoting. Let's talk about the first thing. How do you improve your content? There are two metrics you need to pay attention to, but before that you need to activate it in a setting somewhere and you'll figure it out. Once you do that and you post a video, you can see two stats, average view duration and watched full video percentage. These are important on basically every social media platform. These are the metrics for one video of mine that hit 10 million views, 44 seconds average watch time and 14% watch the whole video. That is pretty decent if I can say so myself. You're gonna have to strive for that if you want to hit it big and get enough likes and comments and stuff like that. A lot of people don't know why their content isn't being pushed out. Just look at your stats bro, they're probably trash. If your videos aren't doing well at all, you get like 300 views on each video, this is how your stats are probably gonna look like. 20 seconds average watch time and more importantly only 4.7% watch the full video. If your video is about a minute long, you have to aim for double digits in both metrics. Obviously, the next question is how do you do that? It's really just human psychology man. The videos you're posting should always somehow get people emotionally invested. Skits, hopecore, urban exploration videos have all one thing in common. They evoke a ton of emotion in you. Good skits create a storyline that gets you invested. Hopecore makes you forget that furries exist for a minute. And urban exploration videos often show something so insane you just want to see how it ends. If you just screen record yourself playing Valorant without any emotion or storyline or whatever, of course nobody's gonna watch that. I might as well just play Valorant myself if you just repost a guy talking about his breakfast. Nobody's gonna care. Now if he's doing that while skydiving out of a plane, that's a different story. That would go viral. The videos need to have something that people don't see every day. If you actually don't know how to improve your videos, just see what the people already successful are doing on TikTok. And literally just copy them bro. Stop trying to be unique in the beginning. It's better to copy a workout from someone who's already jacked than trying to make up your own exercises. Now let's talk about the second part, pivoting. There are times where you go into one niche, right? And just two weeks later, there's another niche that goes absolutely bonkers viral that seems to perfectly align with your skill set and interests. When you find an opportunity like that, you should be experimenting. Invest 70% of your time into improving the content you're already posting and 30% invested into experimenting. So trying out different niches, trying out different concepts. You can literally post a ton of different videos on one TikTok account because TikTok basically doesn't care about followers and stuff, right? I literally try Try traveling vlogs, fake chats, and streamer clips before I found a niche that fits my needs and actually blew up my account. It's a balance you need to figure out in the beginning between improving your stuff and just trying out different stuff. If you do exactly as I tell you for two months, you're basically destined to get your 10k followers and get into the program and stuff. Now after being in the program, there will be a ton of other problems you're gonna face. But before talking about that, I want to address the brothers that live at the end of the world. You have it a lot harder man. There are ways around the restriction and get in the program either Either way, but it's just a thousand times more difficult. A lot of people will tell you to buy an account from the US because it has the ability to get into the program. But the thing with that is, if you have an account from the US, you also need US tax information, so the social security number and stuff like that. And if you now go on and try to look for US tax information, you're gonna go into very dangerous territory, bro. You might as well just start scamming because you make more money and the chances of being caught by the government are the same, basically. I think you can also apply for an LLC as a non-US citizen and stuff like that but it's just not worth the hustle. The second thing I've heard people doing is buying an eSIM or using a VPN and creating an account in the European countries because they allegedly do not need tax information. To be honest though I'm not entirely sure if that's like allowed so don't blame me if the authorities come looking for you because you broke like 50 laws in two different countries. Get a good lawyer or just don't risk it. The two things I would recommend in your situation is either finding somebody who lives in these countries and doing like a 50-50 split or just trying out different business models until the program reaches your country. Now let's get to the last and most advanced concept, solving some weird problems you're gonna have. Now let's say you're on your way into the program or you're already in it. If you went down the dark path, you're gonna be getting copyright violations, as already mentioned. Probably even more now than before because of the new program and stuff. You need to try to avoid them by editing your videos heavily. So subtitles, filters, unique cut, burning your videos, commentary, etc. Make them as high quality as possible so TikTok won't get super mad. Nevertheless, you will probably still be hit by them. Fortunately for us, there's a tool that can help you. You can actually appeal the videos. You can type up a little text stating why your video isn't actually unoriginal. The community guidelines say that the content cannot be reproduced without any new and creative changes. So you can appeal the video by saying the exact opposite. The video is an original piece of content because you added new and creative changes such as and then you list the changes you've added. 
and you can end it by saying something like which is why the video is eligible for rewards i'm pretty sure it's just a bot looking yes. for good keywords so they can stamp it up as original now it can still be the case that you get five copyright violations and they get all declined right you're technically out of the program but not all hope is lost yet firstly if you get kicked out for copyright violations you get to keep all the money most of the times so depending on where you live you can get it paid out at the end of the next month or in the middle of the next month which is better than losing all your money and crying yourself to sleep every night and you can actually appeal the decision of being kicked out of the program so you can say no actually i deserve to be in the program so if you're lucky enough tiktok will grant you access back into the program and all the five copyright violations will be removed on the other hand if you get kicked out for security reasons it's gg go next i know a guy who made split screen content so subway surfers on the bottom and something oh. else on top and he got kicked out for security reasons because split screen content is not really liked by tiktok and all the money he made gone his balance instantly just had zero also if the owner of the original content actually notices and wants to do something against it you better just pray to make it to the next payout before your account gets deleted last but not least probably the thing everyone is actually fiending for money more accurately how much money you get per thousand views this will heavily depend on your location and the quality of content you're posting you will see some people getting a dollar fifty for every thousand views they get which is insane bro but realistically you're not gonna be that guy my rpm is around like 20 cents right now which i'm fine with but this shit changes a lot especially with tiktok changing their terms and stuff like that my rpm went down to like two to four cents for a while bro <coughs> imagine how many views i gotta pull to buy even a loaf of bread I was starving my guy. I've heard a couple of theories why this stuff can happen, but you can't really change your RPM. So just try to make your videos as high quality as possible. If you pull decent views, the RPM isn't that important. Obviously, it's gonna change how much money you get, but you can still manage $100 a day with an RPM of 2 cents. Just gotta work a bit more. You basically have the right knowledge to make your accounts blow up now. Even if you make $0 for the next 3 months, one day, I believe in you, you're gonna be seeing your first dollar.